We are here because we support our men and women in the military. And we believe that the scourge of sexual assault is a stain on the military that needs to change. This legislation is about, is about making those fundamental changes that are going to be needed to address this issue. Um, I just want to reiterate two things that have already been said. One is, as Senator Hirono said, this issue is not just about women in the military. And even though um, the majority of people who are standing here today are women, the fact is that there are actually more men who are victims of sexual assault in our military than there are women. And even though it's a smaller percentage, the numbers are there and we need to understand that this is about men and women serving in the military and they need to have um, recourse if they are victims of sexual assault and we need to change what has become a culture in the military. Um, the second thing is when we pass the National Defense Authorization Act last year, we included a sexual assault panel to take a look at this issue and to make recommendations. I certainly hope that um, Secretary Hagel and our leadership at the Department of Defense will look at what's happening on this issue and expedite the report from that panel just as swiftly as possible because we are going to take action and it would be helpful to have those recommendations as we do this. Thank you.